top cyclists from all over the country came to Charleston to compete as part of the USA Cycling Pro National Championship mm -hmm. last week, filling the streets with fast racing and a lot of people. So it's a six day event that also left a lasting impact on the city. News Channel 3's Kim Rafferty spoke with city officials about the big turnout. The best cyclists in the country whiz through the city. For six days, the USA Pro Nationals brought with it people wanting to watch. Also, stopping by the shop on the side of Summer Street or filling up restaurants along the route. It'll take us about two weeks to uh, produce an economic impact report. We aggregate a lot of data, including cell phone zip codes, credit card zip codes from transactions. Tim Brady, who is the CEO of the Charleston CVB, helped bring the USA Pro Nationals to Charleston. Airbnbs were pretty significantly booked up uh, as compared to this time uh, last year. So, you know, we know people were here. We know they were out. We saw with our own eyes how crowded it was on Summer Street. The event will be around for at least the next four years. In year two, Brady says the city will focus on recruiting volunteers. Uh, the volunteers that we had this year were great. We just need more of them. Um, with more volunteer effort, we can make this race even bigger and better. The routes for the races could change. I don't think there will be significant changes to the routes. But once the races actually began, people realized that what we had been telling them all along was true. And that was, yeah, the, there might be some minor delays, but you could still get around the city of Charleston. In Charleston, Kim Rafferty, WSAZ News Channel 3. Tim Brady says in about two weeks, more information about the impact of USA Pro Cycling Championships will be announced.